HISD has been playing a huge role in feeding families during this coronavirus pandemic, but the district has also had some setbacks. We're talking closures after some staff members there tested positive for COVID-19. Channel 2's Bill Spencer live with the new closures, which includes HISD headquarters. Bill? Dominique, HISD is the largest school district in Texas with 280 campuses and 27,000 employees. So it should come as no shock to anyone that some of their staffers have tested positive for COVID-19. The difference is tonight, it's actually happened inside the district's headquarters. That has forced the closure of this busy building and now the job of cleaning and sanitizing this building begins. HISD headquarters, the hub of the nation's seventh largest school district, is closed down tonight after a, quote, staff member was diagnosed with the coronavirus. Officials closing the massive building down at 1 o'clock this afternoon, and all employees who had contact with the infected employee have been asked to self-quarantine at home. This is all happening at the same time. Six different HISD food distribution sites were closed down also due to a staff member testing positive for COVID-19. Those schools are Oates Elementary, Bastion Elementary, Foster Elementary, Shirt Elementary, Thompson Elementary, and Whidbey Elementary Schools. In a statement, HISD says health authorities do not believe families participating in the curbside summer meals and fresh bus produce delivery programs were exposed. Contact tracing is being conducted in regards to the HISD employees who have tested positive. As for HISD headquarters, right now, heavy-duty cleaning and sanitation are both going on inside the building. It will continue into the evening, but HISD headquarters is slated to reopen to the public tomorrow morning. And once again, regarding all of these schools where they're doing the food distribution, there are still 63 HISD campuses that are providing free food to the public tonight. Reporting live, Bill Spencer, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you.